So one of the most common questions me and Joe get asked online on social media or through our YouTube channels is how can you help us with our online multi-choice exams when we're preparing for those tests? Currently, the Swindon Massive and Sparky Facts that you can Google and find, and me and Joe have added to the pool of material available in order to help you at that moment before you go for those online exams. A pressured time for anyone studying an electrical program. So we created on the eFix website, eFix.co.uk, the Apprentice Hub. So if you go and find the eFix Apprentice Hub, and I'll show you how to do that in this video presentation, you'll see in there we've got a series of materials to help you pass your electrical program. However, we do not condone just using online exams, you know, multi-choice generators, simulating exam programs in order to prepare yourselves to pass electrical exams. It's the content given by your college during your study program, the research and reading you've done around the subject that prepares you for an exam. However, we're all aware that when we get to the moment of our exam, just before it, we always like to test ourselves and have a little go and see if we can build some confidence into those exams. In the eFix Apprentice Hub, there's a series of questions in the installation theory, health and safety, electrical science and principles, and thanks to Ian Clark, also now a section of questions on the 18th edition wiring regulations. There's also some video content in there to help you on your program. One video is worth watching where you can nominate you yourself or your college in to have a eFix visit. So that means me and Joe will turn up if you're lucky enough to be selected at your college in the eFix brand studios and spend half a day to a day with you, helping you on your study program and perhaps enlighten you on some of the latest technologies. In this video presentation, I'm going to show you how to use your mobile phone in order to access the eFix Apprentice Hub. You may be being driven to a job in the van, you may be sitting on a train or sitting on a bus getting to college and you're thinking to yourself, how can I maximise the time between the journey and getting to college? Well, you can access the eFix Apprentice Hub and start working your way through the video and multi-choice question content in order to prepare yourself for those exams. So let's have a look at that next. So we're gonna have a look at finding the eFix Apprentice Hub on a mobile device, okay? This part of the eFix.co.uk should help you with your studies in the electrical industry, whether you be an apprentice, a full-time, or an adult learner. So let's go for the search engine. So open my Safari, I'm gonna go into Google. I'm gonna type in eFix. Just go for that to start with, go for eFix. And we go, and we're gonna go eFix again, onto the home page. You'll notice in this top right hand corner the three red lines, one on top of another. It's often called the hamburger. I'll click that. And now I look for the apprentice hub. So we've got product, marketing, and boot camp, and a third one down there says apprentice hub. Let's open that up. Okay, so we've opened up the apprentice hub within the eFix.co.uk. So as we scroll down, a little bit of an introduction to the actual page, followed by a video followed by another video. So if you watch the top video, it will suggest that you can nominate your college for a visit from the eFix team. That's something worth doing. Usually the best way to do that is to email in. So come down, that's the college connections. And here we go, practice exam questions are here. Installation theory, we've left it nice and broad. So installation theory being anything to do with cable calculations, conduit, PVC wiring, zones in bathrooms, etc. So the electrical installation best practice would be in there. So that's for the installation theory exams. Scroll down a little bit further. We've got the electrical science and principles covering the majority of stuff to do with level one, level two, and the start of level three. The reason why I say the start of level three, often the electrical science and principles at level three are written at some elements, and these cover more of the multi-choice question-based elements. Go down again. The dreaded health and safety section. So usually one of the first things you do in any study program would be the health and safety section. And there is about 150, 160 questions in there to help you pass that section. And the majority of health and safety exams that you study for electrical are multi-choice questions, so they should help you. A little bit further down, a brand new section been added and be expanded in the future. Massive thanks to Ian Clark for providing us with the questions for this section here. He's from North Lindsay College, and we've got at the moment nine sets of questions in there to help you 
with your 18th edition. And with Amendment 1 due out or out when you watch this video, there's very few changes in the 18th edition questions and we've kept the changed questions away from the ones we've uploaded so there should be no clash in there. So if you're doing the 18th edition or Amendment 1 exams, both of those should be helped from this section. And then we go down a little bit further. The learning resource stuff is links to videos that we've produced on Joe Robinson Training and on this channel, GSH Electrical. So just to give you a push in the right direction of where some video content can help you in your study programs. So you see Electrical Science and Principles up to level three. A little bit on the 18th edition. Warren regulations are in here. So there's some video content in there. Let's just go back to, say, the installation theory section. Just open one of these up for you. So here we have the installation theory question, so press to open. Loads up. Okay. And we've got some question sections are on certain subjects, in this case, PVC cables, PVC and metal conduits, ADS. Okay, so if we were to open up one of these sections in a minute, they'd be on the actual content. The actual electrical installations exams, one, two, three, and so on, are a mix and match of questions that could come up in these exam sections. So if we just open up set number three, you can see you've got a question there on scale. Okay, let's go for the next question. One on cables, in this case for data. Hit next again, number of terminals in a switch. You can see there's a bit of a mix and match in the questions themselves. Okay, so let's go back and let's pick another one. So if we go down further still, there's plenty of questions in these sections. So Let's go for question set 12. Okay. So we're talking about soldering now. So next question. Which one of these is not in an accident book? If you were to answer one of the questions, you would put down maybe, I don't know, medical history. If that, you thought that was the right answer, you go to the next question and go through until the end of the 10. There's 10 in each section. It gives you your score and tells you which ones that you were unsuccessful on. So go back again. Let's try a different section. So I'm back to installation theory. Let's do electrical science and principles. Often one people avoid. So down we go. So we've got some there again on actual subjects. So electron theory, magnetism, mechanical science, a little bit further down, AC theory, SI units, science of power, and then we roll into the sets, sets one, two, three, etc., where there'll be a mix and match of questions across the whole of the, the syllabus. Let's open one of these up. Ooh, let's do AC theory. Let's open that one up. So we've got a little question there to answer. Move to the next one. And you can see they're all very similar formulas to remember. Okay, go back again. Let's pick one more to have a look in this section. Let's go mechanical science. Okay, so this time you've got a picture. Some of them have pictures in there with them. You've got to work out principles of a lever, I think balancing a beam. So go for the next one. And next again. Again, another question similar to before. And again, similar to before. And you can see how these questions are going to work again. You pick your answer, you move to the next question. Okay, so let's go back again. So we're back to where we first started. 18th edition questions, exactly the same as before. Let's go for a video content in a learning resource. You'll probably recognize these videos from my channel. So they're just hyperlinked in. So you've got one there on the connections in a ceiling rows, two-way light switching, etc. Identifying basic accessories, so all video content that can help you with your study program. So that's just a little guide to the eFix Apprentice Hub, which is part of the eFix.co.uk and is designed to help you with your studies, whether you be full-time learner, whether you be an apprentice or an adult retraining. We hope this section will be helpful to you. So there you go, the eFix Apprentice Hub. 
Use it on your mobile phone, use it while traveling towards college or traveling towards your place of work in order to maximize every possible minute you can to be the best possible apprentice you can be by using the eFix Apprentice Hub. We also know you've got my videos here on GSA to Electrical to help you, the ones available on Joe Robinson Training. And don't forget, we've also got our eFix YouTube channel, which helps you in the broader sense within the electrical industry, not necessarily focusing just on the training aspects, but on the wider picture and new developing technologies. So I hope this eFix Apprentice Hub has been some